We're revealing the secrets to understanding your body, and our next under issue has Dustin feeling embarrassed and self-conscious. Hey doctors, so here's the deal. Three years ago, I just finished up soccer practice in college, took my jersey off, and I noticed I had this like extra piece of skin underneath my arm, extra appendage or something, I don't know. It's hideous. So now, you know, I'm that guy, I go to parties, I get crazy, just wild to dance around everywhere, always taking my shirt off. I go down to the pool, I kick back to both arms, you know, trying to look good for the ladies, of course, but now I feel like they're looking at this piece of meat underneath my arm. It's horrible. So here's the deal. What is it, and how do I get rid of it? And Dustin is here along with our friend, dermatologist, Dr. Ava Shambam, to have his skin tag removed. Good boys. Welcome to the both of you. So skin tags are actually normal outgrowths of your skin, and they tend to occur in areas of rubbing. Especially they can occur on the eyelids, where there's friction, around the neck, under the bra line, or under the arms, like Dustin has. So the good news is, is this is a very simple procedure to do in the office, and that's what we're going to do. All right, and couple questions. First of all, how long have you had it? I'd say roughly probably three years. Three years. So and have you tried to remove it yourself? Yeah, kind of halfway. I uh, actually one day took a pair of uh, toenail clippers to it. Sometimes people use, they'll use dental floss to try to remove skin tags, rubber bands. And in fact, a lot of times, if you think about what a skin tag looks like, it's sort of like a potato that started to sprout, and it's kind of nasty, and so you really want to have them off. So what you do with, with either the floss or the band <laughs> is that you put it around Broke. the base and you strangulate it, right? That's right. And so then it can actually run the risk of getting an infection, which you really don't want to have happen in any of those areas, eyelids, and neck, you, underarm. Let's get it done. Okay. And of course, you did pre-numb him ahead of time, right? I did, I did. You told me that. That's I a did. Good he thing. said he wanted the anesthetic. Yeah. Okay, ready? Everybody see it? I'd rather not cry. That there is... we go. Kind of hangs off there like a little dumbbell. See, she, she's pulling go. up on that, getting it at the base. Mm. Nice. This is nice. And then you... Okay. So I'm putting something on so it doesn't bleed. A little lumicane. And then we're going to cover it with a Band-Aid. Good job. All right. And that tag is gone. Wow. And before we go, we, we yeah, have to ask, what, what, can, what can you do to prevent them, Dr. Shamban? So in terms of prevention, you want to make sure that nothing you're wearing is rubbing too much. So it, like with a, with a tie and collar, you want to loosen your tie a little bit, make sure your bra fits properly, and that there's no clothing that binds under your arms. And use a little powder under your arms, too. That really helps. Good job. Well, thanks so much to both of you, Dr. Shamban, and thanks, Dustin. You were a trooper, and best of luck. Still ahead, the new bra that helps you look 10 years younger. That's right.